Hi everyone, Sandy here. Um, I'm gonna try to repot this today. Um, I think this pot might be a little too small for it. Um, this is the Transcandia tricolor. Um, I apologize if I'm pronouncing this incorrectly. But um, I got this at um, a nursery near me. When I got it, it was tiny. It was like, oh sorry. <laughs> it's like maybe this size. Like, it's small. Um, I'll see if I can find a picture and upload it. Um, I also did a haul video on it, so I'll include it in the description box. You can also see it there too. But yeah, um, I was told. Well, actually, I kind of knew already. This is the same family as the Wandering Jew. If you're not familiar with that plant, um, that plant grows like crazy too. And yeah, so. I was expecting it to grow fast, but I don't know, at the time I just thought it was cute to have it in this planner, so. Um, I could leave it and maybe give it a trim, but I don't know, I, I think I might want to give it a little bigger. So I'll, I'll still do a trim and try to propagate it because again, this should be as easy as the other variety that I mentioned earlier, the Wandering Jew, the purple one. Okay, so I um, hope I don't damage much roots because um, the opening is small and I don't know how the roots are growing but yeah let's, let's get started uh, for those who don't know I got this from Daiso when I was visiting California uh, Daiso is like a dollar store but, in, uh, but instead of a dollar it's like 150 or more and these are the cutest things uh, I'm a, doesn't want to come out Ooh, here we go so here's my uh, terracotta and I have the little screen here let's fill it up These tools I got at the Christmas tree shop. Um, they're very uh, cheap, very affordable, and I really like it. Um, to tell you that I don't really remember how much, but again, I did a haul video. I'll see if I can find it and I'll put it in the des description box, okay? This plant is extremely easy to care for. Um, so it's one of the reasons why I love this plant. And another reason why I love this plant so much is I love the pink. Um, I'm not sure if you can see it. Uh, my fault because I have I forgot to water it. I think it turned brown, but yeah, that's okay. But yeah, it's light pink. And then the underside is purple. You guys see that? It's gorgeous. Love it. Okay, so here you go. I'm gonna give it a little trim so I can attempt to propagate. Um, I never propagated this plant before, but I don't see it being a big problem. It should be very easy. Um, I'm just gonna water propagate it or water root it. Um, there's two methods, I guess. You can either stick it back into the soil or just stick it in water, which I'm going to do. Um, as you can see, they, they trail, so this is like a trailing plant. People like to put these on hanging baskets. But yeah, to make it more full, I'm just going to cut some, root some, and stick it back in. So let's see. How should I do it? One. Two. Three.
Giving a big tr trim, huh? That should be that should do. No, I don't like this leaf and Okay, so I'll be back. Let me get some water. So here's my water. Yeah, and all you do is this is where the root is gonna come out, so the node. All you have to do is just rip off that leaf and put it in water. And this look, I have some flowering buds. Take those off. Again, pull the water. I already did a couple already. So I'm just gonna put them all in the water. <coughs> And these are gonna root very fast within a week or maybe even less so I'll give you guys an update once I see any changes okay so here you go again the Transcandia tricolor very easy plant to care for it just needs bright light, bright and direct sunlight. Um, it likes to be in the uh, kept moist. Uh, don't like dry out too long. And yeah, it'll grow like crazy for you. Okay, so again, once I see any changes in these, I'll do a quick update and I'll pop them in the pot to show you how to quickly add it to your current. Um, pot to make it look fuller or if you want um, you can put it in another pot and make plant number two <laughs> okay um, yeah bye for now today is July 2nd um, almost a week not quite um, I cut or trim my plant on the 27th of June so I think it's around is it six days now but as you can see, look at the roots. Um, I only changed the water like once or twice, maybe, maybe just once. I'm not. Even, I don't think I did it more than once. But as you can see, there's a lot of roots. Um, to tell you that I didn't pull out each one, but yeah, I'm gonna leave them in a little longer to make sure they grow a little bit more before I um, pot them up. And as you can see, um, there's a huge stem here. Um, it's my fault, my error. Um, I should have um, cut it here, um, so there's that much, that, not much of a stem um, that might rot when you um, plant it. But I can easily just trim that off when I pot them. Um, and uh, this one is my wandering root that I had before this one. As you can see, the um, roots are much longer, but still not as much. So again, I'm still gonna keep this in a little longer. So yeah, just wanna show you, uh, these are very easy to propagate, as you can see. And um, I'll do one last update once I pot them. And uh, so stay tuned. So today is the ninth, so another week has passed. So, I think it's about time to repot. As you can see, there's more roots now. Okay, so, um, oops. A little fly things that catches the nuts. Okay, let's see. How do I do this? So as you can see, look at the roots. Actually, this, this pot is already pretty full. I don't know. Should I even 
bother putting any in here. Maybe, maybe a little bit. Here. Here's one. Like I'm very easy. Just poke a hole and put it in. And uh, maybe another one right here. Poke another hole. Find a good piece. Stick it in. Make sure the roots are all under good soil. Yeah, see? And again, since it's pretty full already, I'm just gonna start a new plant, a new pot. Um, this little thing is from Daiso. Uh, I mentioned in the past that I've got a bunch of little other uh, animals. So here's a pig. Um, there's a panda, a chick, a bear, and yeah, the, the, the frog is the only one I haven't used yet. So let me add some dirt. Oh, so messy. It's dirty. I'll clean it up later. Clean it up. There you go. Um, it's not going to look that nice now, but once it settles in and starts growing, it's not going to be flopping everywhere. So yeah, how fun is that? One plant into two plants, and they grow very fast, and they're very easy to care for. And just look at that pink. Can't tell if you can see it on the camera. On the camera it looks kind of yellow, but it is a very light shade of pink and it's very pretty. And purple underneath, of course. And uh, this was the regular, the original uh, Wandering Jewel that I mentioned. And look how pretty that is. Again, same thing. Um, it water roots very easily. But again, if you want, just pop it in the soil. It works the same way. Uh, some people don't like to water root. So if you don't like this method, just stick it straight into the soil. It works the same way. Okay, so um, thanks for watching. And uh, hope you like my propagation repotting. And uh, stay tuned and I'll have more videos.